Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Iceman Third ID. Uh, this is Farming Simulator 2017, of course. What I am standing next to here, or driving next to here, is a perfectly manicured field. The reason for this is because I am going to go over the two different methods or methodologies of fertilizing today. One, you've got uh, the traditional method from Farm Simulator 2017, which involves spraying fertilizer on your field. And the second is, and it uses uh, one of these fertilizers here, as you see this uh, second uh, blue tractor right here. It's got a fertilizer tank in the back, that orange fertilizer tank. That's what you use to spray with. You can also get one of these big old sprayers. I've never used it, but man, this thing's wingspan is huge. All right, so uh, what they've added this year is something called oil seed radishes. Now, the oil seed radish, uh, as I'm going to read you the description, oil seed radish is a special crop as you don't have, as you don't harvest it at the end, but dig it in. Uh, once the plants are visible, you can use a cultivator on your field. It's a so-called green manure, and it works as a fertilizer, increasing your next yield by 30%. So that's an interesting way to uh, fertilize your crops, and that's what I, that's what I've been doing in on my hard mode because I I believe that it's less expensive. Well, we're fitting to fitting to we're 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 going to test that theory out today. I'm going to completely. Uh, work this field uh, the traditional way and see uh, what the profit is right I'm gonna keep track of the fertilizer and the seed that I use and uh, how expensive it is right I'm going to figure out how much uh, of a yield I get from both crops so uh, that's that's what's gonna happen all right let's go ahead and hop in our tractor here our what I'm gonna seed with and this here is a cedar cultivator and we'll just drive it over here and we will seed this crop and there's gonna be a lot of fast forwarding in this video so don't worry it's, this video is not gonna be uh, four hours long or anything um, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through this stuff or or edit most of the stuff out so that it doesn't take a huge huge amount of time but I've got uh, wheat in here I think we're going to do uh, something that doesn't make hay like canola canola's canola's good we can do soybean or canola let's do let's do canola because it the the crop yield on canola is, is a little bit less it'll be a little easier to measure I, th I would think and then uh, we don't have to pick up anything after after the canola is ready so uh, without further ado I'll just go ahead and get this started and I will see you on the other side we started with 3,000 seeds so at the end of this I'm going to calculate how many seeds we used seeding this field and uh, see what the cost is the cost per liter of seed is uh, I think it's 90 cents per liter so we'll be able to we'll be able to calculate uh, how much I'm using so anyway I will see you after this is all done all right so we're back on our field here um, almost done we get this narrow little strip on the end here to seed and we have used let me see 877 877 seeds and now uh, that's step one right so 877 seeds let me write that down so we know exactly how many seeds we did the first time and hopefully it's the same amount of seeds second time and then now what we have to do is fertilize and I don't know why I unhooked that because I'm gonna need it later I guess I'm used to not having all this equipment. Whoops, wrong thing. I'm not used to having all this equipment on my other farm. I have to use one tractor for everything. I got everything hooked up to different tractors on this one. All right, so we're gonna get onto our uh, fertilizer. No 
okie dokie. And we, we might end up working uh, through the night here. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, because it's 649 or 1849. Uh, so this would be step two. And that, that's the first fertilization because if you, if you look at the map here, and I know a ton of people have done this already, but I'm going to do it again anyway. Um, if you look at the map, you've got your growth, then you've got your soil composition. Soil composition is unfertilized, right? So we're going to need to fertilize this field. So I will get started on that. I'll keep track of how much uh, fertilizer I use here and how much that's going to cost. And uh, whenever I get this uh, entire field fertilized, uh, the first time you have to do this three times. Uh, you have to spray it with fertilizer three times the the traditional way to get the full crop yield, right? So you gotta fertilize it three times. So anyway, uh, we will see you back here after I am done. All right, so uh, we are done with uh, that field. That's the first fertilization. So now we uh, go to the map here. And you can see it's light blue, which means it's been fertilized for the first time. Uh, yep, that's the whole field fertilized for the first time. So we'll do it two more times, and that will be completely fertilized. Uh, I forgot to explain why I'm using the small fertilizer instead of the big one. It's because with the big one, it's a lot less uh, easy to uh, gauge how much uh, fertilizer I'm using. And so if I'm going to do a cost-benefit analysis on this I need to know exactly how much I'm using so 1200 uh, minus 814 is like what uh, 386 so we used uh, 877 seeds and 386 fertilizer all right well I'm gonna go ahead and uh, fast forward uh, this and then uh, we'll see you back all right welcome back we're uh, We've just uh, seen the head of the crop uh, kind of pop up above the uh, soil, so I'm going to uh, go ahead and fertilize this for the next time. And this will be step number three, the second fertilization. And uh, after the field's done, uh, see you back. All right, that was the step number three. Uh, that's the second fertilization of the field. First, we uh, planted and cultivated, which we can do that at the same time with that cedar. And then we fertilized the first time. Now we fertilized the second time after the after the, the first growth. Now when the second um, stage growth pops up, we'll go ahead and fertilize it a third time. Then that'll be it. And then we'll harvest it and see what we got. All right. All right, we're back. And this is where... Uh, this is our last fertilization, and then we'll go ahead and harvest and see what we got. But this is where I am not fond of the spraying. Because this, uh, number one, where it's at night. It's like midnight in Montgomery out here. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. I think that my farmer has a sleeping disorder. Uh, at any rate, it, when these plants get really long, like, what do we plant here? Canola? When this canola gets really long, it's really hard to see where you've fertilized, especially at night. But anyway, I digress. I'm going to go ahead and uh, spray this field, get it all fertilized, and then uh, I will see you when it's all done. And then uh, we'll go ahead and calculate how much money that we've spent so far on this whole process and uh, see what the grand total is. So anyway, I will see you back after this, after I get done uh, fertilizing this. All right, so we're back, and that was uh, step number four of, uh, of fertilizing and uh, this field, getting all ready for the harvest. So now all we have to do is wait until it's time to harvest, and, uh, and that's it. We'll see what we got as far as harvesting goes. Would we use uh, 800 or no, 387? 387. So, 387. The first time, 
uh, we used 386, second time was 389, and the third time was 387, so it's all about almost exactly the same. And uh, I'll do some calculating and figure out how much each one of those is, is right now. So all together, a grand total for all the seeds and all the fertilizer up until now has been $2,183.70. Now, that's going to be a constant no matter whether you're in easy mode, hard mode, normal mode. That's going to be a constant. Uh, the, the price of the seed and the price of the fertilizer never changes. Anyway, we're going we're gonna to go ahead and fast forward this and, uh, and harvest it and see how much we got. And I will see you back whenever, whenever it's ready to harvest. All right, so here we are. We are at field 14. Our, we started with a highly manicured field, and now we have a uh, highly dense uh, crop yield of canola. So we're going to go ahead and uh, harvest this canola. I'm going to use a worker, and I'm just going to let it go. And then I will see you whenever it's done, and we find out exactly how much canola we got. And then we'll compare that to the way I'm going to show you here in a second. All right, so we're back. We're almost done with this field. We're on the last row. I've got my semi here. We're gonna empty out this harvester and see exactly how much canola that our uh, field produced. I really like uh, going next to these big harvesters with a semi. It's awesome. Look at that. That's pretty neat. I like doing that. I think it's just huge. I think this thing holds like 59,000 uh, liters. Almost 60,000 liters. Um, that's quite a delivery right there. So, what do we got here? Got 14,505 liters. 14,505 liters of canola. All right. Well, now it's time to start all over again. What we're going to do is replow this field. Make sure that the conditions are exactly the same from the start to the finish of what we just did. So I'm going to go dump this into my grain silo. We're going to go ahead and start all over again. So let me get that started here. Get this guy here. Put him on the task of plowing this field. And he's going to do that. Move all this stuff, and we'll see you back when uh, whenever that gets done. And I'll go over the 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 way to do this without spraying. All right, so I think that is uh, complete cultiva cultivation of this field. Let's check. Check on the uh, da -da -da -da. okay. All right, it's not it's not fertilized. It is cultivated. So there you go. All right, so we've cultivated the field. Now, what's the next step? The, well, the next step is planting the oil seed radish. We're going to use this uh, handy dandy weeder that comes with a uh, planter or a seeder, but it only seeds oil seed radishes and grass. Let me show you how that works. Do, 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 do. There it is. Oh, we need seeds. Of course. Do we have any seeds? Mm, no, we don't. What is that? That's fertilizer. We need seeds. 
Alright, well, I'm gonna run and get some seeds. And then I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. I'm full of seeds. We got 300 seeds. We're gonna change this to the oil seed radish. That is the symbol for the oil seed radish in the bottom right hand corner. I'm gonna unfold the cedar. Slash weeder. To weeder cedar. <laughs> and we are gonna get to work. Alright, so you lower it, you turn it on. Now, if you're just gonna weed with this thing, you do not turn it on. All you do is lower it, and it will automatically weed for you if you don't want to use any seeds. Uh, but uh, so this is gonna plant the uh, oil seed radish, and then when the tops come up, we're gonna till them back in to the ground with our cedar, which is gonna be interesting. So I will see you back after I get done with this. All right, we're almost uh, done with uh, this field, uh, planting the oilseed radish. Uh, I'm on my last row right here, and if you'll notice on the bottom right hand side, we have used about a third of the seeds for these oilseed radishes. We start with 300, we're down to 174. So that's uh, 126. 126 seeds, so step two, use seeds, and that was step two, and that was 126 seeds, seeds, 100 and, wait a minute, that went 122, was it, 300, 100 and, yeah, 126, 126 seeds, so, alright, now that's finished for now, and we are going to get in our planter, our cedar, that we were in last time, the one that cultivates and seeds. So what this is going to do, this is going to cultivate those uh, oilseed radishes down into the ground while seeding. So it's going to cultivate, fertilize, and seed all at the same time. Now let's, let's look at our map here and see what stage of cultivation. Uh, stage of fertilization we're in. Look, we're already at the first stage of fertilizing. I didn't spray any fertilizer. All we did was plant the oil seed radish and go over it with the weeder, right? So the weeder provides the first stage of fertilization. The second stage is going to be when we um, cultivate those back into the ground. And the third stage is we're going to go over it with the weeder again and we're never going to have to use any liquid fertilizer. So, I'm going to go put some more seeds in this uh, cedar, and uh, I will see you back here when the tops of those oilseed radishes start coming up. So, we're back. Uh, you've got the oilseed radishes tops have just come up, and this is a cedar cultivator, right? So, uh, I'm going to go ahead, and I will show you what we're looking like here on the map. So we're still got the same color fertilization, and now we have a different color of uh, growth. But it will never go past that. Uh, you cannot harvest the oilseed radish. All you can do is till it back into the ground. So we're just going to go ahead and start that. And, and we're seeding. Look at that. Now, as we go here, when we get done with this first line of seeding, our uh, canola, after we get done, I'll show you what the strip looks like on our map. Alright. Raise that up. And that first strip, if you see, is turning a darker blue. So we've gone from the light blue to the middle uh, color blue and then when it grows we're going to run the weeder over it one more time and that'll be it. That's, uh, that's all there is to it. So we'll see you back whenever I get this uh, thing completely planted. Alright, so that's uh, the last little bit of this. Uh, we have now tilled 
the oilseed radishes into the ground. We've planted our canola. We're left with 2,223 uh, liters of seed in our cedar. Um, so we use the same exact amount of seeds. Uh, so step three would be to cultivate and seed at the same time. And we used 870 seven same amount which cost us the exact same amount of seven hundred and eighty nine dollars and thirty cents right so right now what it's looking like we've saved almost thirteen hundred dollars so far but we'll find out we'll find out when when uh, the harvest gets all over with and everything else we're gonna hop back into our weeder here and whenever that pops up for the first growth cycle, we will go ahead and weed. And uh, if you want to use the weeder, you don't turn the cedar on. You just uh, you just lower the weeder and weed. So I'll see you back whenever this canola pops up for the first time. All right, so we're back. Uh, we've got the tops of our canola up here. Now if you want to use this weeder, all you do is you drive up and it, if you look at our if you look at our map, we are on the second stage of fertilization already. We haven't used a single drop of liquid fertilizer. Okay, so what we're gonna do is you're just gonna drop it. You're not gonna turn it on. You're just gonna drop it and drive. Drop and drive. And the ground behind you gets darker, which means it's fertilized. Look at that. You Basically what you've done, instead of fertilizing, so to speak, in the traditional sense, is that you have moved the field state to a higher level, right? Since you will be weeding this crop, that means that the weeds are not sucking the nutrients away from your crop. So you've just got your crop left, there's no weeds to suck the nutrients from it. And so now, you are officially an organic farmer. Look at that. You can put that little sticker on all your crops that say organic because you didn't use any pesticides, any herbicides, anything like that. You physically weeded, used oilseed radishes, and that's it. That's all you did. That's so no, you're an organic farmer. You've gone green. Look at you. So no dealing with the uh, evil Monsanto executives. Uh, no putting Roundup on your fields. No uh, no putting extra nitrates and who knows what in, into the ground. You can do it all natural. Look at that. Isn't that interesting? So, uh, and it's free. Weeding is free. So uh, all that expensive uh, fertilizer that, that people use on their fields. Now this can only be done on a small scale because if you have one of these gigantic fields it's going to take days to do it this way but as far as with this little because this is the biggest this is the biggest weeder that they have so um, now that sprayer on the other hand could probably do this entire field in one pass I mean it's, it's just gigantic it covers up the entire highway when I open it up right um, but I'll, uh, I'll see you back when I get this finished. And, uh, and for, I, I guess for all practical reasons, I mean, if you just want to be a cheapskate, this is the way to go. If you feel better about yourself for not putting chemicals on people's food, hey, great, you know. Um, I enjoy this method much better because I know that it's cheaper, right? And we're going to see what the crop yield is like. Uh, I wanna, I'm, I'm kind of curious about that because I, I don't know if the crop yield is going to be better, whether it's going to be worse or what. So I'm curious, but I'll see you. Uh, I'll see you on the flip side. All right, so that's our uh, that's our last little strip here, and we are almost done with this. And uh, all we have to do now is just wait for uh, for the crop to grow all the way. And, you know, one of, another one of the reasons, see, it's dark blue now. The whole field's dark blue. One of the reasons I like using this is because now, this is the first stage of growth for this crop. It's got about three more stages to go before I can harvest it. And I don't have to sit here and babysit it. 
I can go off and do bigger and better things if I want to cut down some trees and sell them at the lumber yard or whatever. Whatever it is I want to do, I can go ahead and do that because I don't have to sit here and wait for this field, keep an eye on this field to make sure I'm getting each growth cycle. It's done. It's over. So, we'll go ahead and uh, get in our harvester and wherever that is. Oh, there it is. And I will see you on the flip side when it's time to harvest this stuff. Alright, so here we are. Our canola is ready. It's another fine uh, harvest. We're going to go ahead and start harvesting this. I'm going to use a worker to do it. Just because I'm lazy. And uh, we're going to see what kind of harvest we get from this. I want to see if it's anywhere near the uh, 14,505 liters we got from the traditional way of doing it. But I've, uh, I've crunched some numbers at the end of this. I'll put some graphics on the screen so you can kind of compare the numbers. Um, so what I figured out is that by going completely organic, you actually save money in this game, right? Uh, that may not be how it is in the real world, I don't know. I'm not a real farmer, so I have no idea, don't ask me. But according to this, per hectare, right, this is this field is 1.25 uh, hectares. So um, I, I checked that on my on my stats. You go into your stats, how many hectares have you have you uh, have you harvested, blah 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 blah. Well oh, per hectare. Uh, you're going to save $960.75 on average. On average. And I'm guessing I'm guessing probably the, the, the more hectares that you do, the more you'll save by a very small margin. But uh, it's it's looking like, uh, you know, not using any fertilizer is the, is the way to go. Um, and then on top of that, use less material because you don't have to go get the liquid fertilizer you don't have to get the solid fertilizer so that's one less thing that you have to do to run back and forth to the store to get um, so there, there's less trips to the store less fuel usage even though you did, it's the same four steps on on both uh, both fields the traditional way and the organic way um, it's, it's less fuel because yet you don't have to go to the store as often Right, and pick everything up and then you have uh, less hours on your tractors so uh, the way the way that we're doing it now is going to put less uh, strain on your because in in 2017 one of the things you have to watch is how many hours you're putting on your tractors because then that ups the maintenance cost for your tractors and, and everything like that so the the quicker and the more efficient that you do, the more money you'll save in the long run too. So organics is the best way all the way around so far. We're, we'll, we'll see what our, and if you hear that in the background, that's my wife doing dishes. Um, you'll see later on, we'll see later on what our crop yield looks like. So whenever we get out of this crop, I'll, uh, I'll get back with you and I'll put some graphics on the screen to, to show you uh, exactly what we've done. Alright, so here we are in our last little strip. We're going to see exactly how much we've got in our harvester here. All we, all we got to do is beat 14.505. See what we get here. Pay no attention to the banging dishes in the background. Eight thousand, nine thousand, ten thousand, eleven thousand. Who's gonna Who's gonna win? Traditional or organic? You gotta be kidding. So, almost exactly the same. Fourteen five twenty eight, and the traditional is fourteen five oh five. So almost exactly the same um, so there you have it uh, let's I guess go break down some numbers uh, we need a good spot to break down some numbers a nice clear spot to break down some numbers 
So I'll just go ahead and put them on the screen for you. This looks like a pretty good spot. It's nice and nice and light colored right here. Let's go ahead and get out of here. We'll just stare at the at the wavy grass. All right. So, in a traditional, you've got four steps each. In our traditional, uh, it was two thousand one hundred eighty-three dollars and seventy cents. In our uh, organic, we spent nine hundred and two dollars and seventy cents for a difference of one thousand two hundred eighty-one dollars. Uh, cheaper for organic. Organic had the exact same uh, crop yield and Per acre, that comes out to uh, $960.75 per acre. So, this is, I hope that's been helpful. If you've been if you've been wondering, should I should I do it this way? Should I do it that way? This just gives you an alternative. If you like doing it the traditional way, I totally understand. It's the way everybody's used to doing it. I really like the organic way better. Uh, but anyway, this has been your host, Iceman Third ID. Thanks for watching. Uh, share, favorite, comment, subscribe. This is gonna take a lot of post editing. I can tell you that. Anyway, thank you to uh, Sunshine for making this video possible, and uh, I'll uh, see you on the flip side, I guess. See you guys.